says remember Jesus gave a command he said when you pray he did not say if you pray you as a child of God out there you can unlock your destiny you can unlock your purpose discover the transformative power of prayer as we dive into ancient wisdom sharing personal testimonies and provide a practical insight to deepen your spiritual practices watch whispers of the spirit at ka television as we introduce a transformative new series that will uplift your spirit ignite your faith and renew your connection with the divine and that is your god experience the profound impact of prayer and unlock the blessings awaiting for you the power of prayer with your guest abele patricia and your host louis derrick every tuesday at 7 30 on the whispers of the spirit see you there Good evening, good morning from, from wherever you're watching from. This is the Whispers of the Spirit and my name is Felix Osonga. Today it's a surprise, of course, yes. I'm standing in for my brother, uh, uh, Louis Derrick, uh, who is, uh, will be coming in later. Now, uh, let us go direct to the show. Now that you are seeing this new face, <laughs> we, uh, we bless the Lord because of this wonderful moment. Uh, I want us to... Uh, just uh, joining with prayer as we begin and uh, God is going to guide us and take us through in the name of Jesus Christ Let us pray Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you and we glorify your holy name Thank you for this wonderful moment. Thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for this evening, O Jehovah, that we are going to learn, that we are going to, 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 to know more things, O Jehovah, about God. And yes. Father, we pray that may you reveal it to us, yes. that may you open our eyes, may you open, may you soften our hearts, that we may understand, that we may know you, that we may uh, uh, come to you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 God bless you so much. Those who are watching us on, on, on social media, it's KA Television on Facebook. On YouTube, it's KA Television. And also on mobile phone, uh, those who are watching us on mobile phone, that is uh, my home TV app. God bless you so much for staying tuned in. And God bless you even as we continue. And in the house, our guest is here. The best guest, the woman of God. Welcome. Thank you. So I, much. I, I might start uh, showering and hi, Taisha. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. God Thank bless you so, you so much. much. Yeah. Now, last time I was, I was behind the scenes watching. Mm. And uh, <laughs> we're talking about praying to a willing God. Yes. And I, I was so blessed. Amen. I was so blessed. Uh, and uh, uh, particularly to the point where you guys started reshuffling our prayer items. Mm. <laughs> and how we approach God and, yes. and, and you telling us that it's a personal relationship with God before yes. you even start saying, God, I need this and this and this and this. Exactly. God, this is my problem. Yes. It is how, how is your relationship with God? I was so blessed. Mm. And I believe that even our viewers are so blessed with the same. Mm. And God bless you so much for, for this wonderful insights. Thank you. May God, you. God fill you more. <laughs> Amen. I receive. Amen. 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 Now. Name. Just uh, for a minute, uh, mm. I want us to go through. Mm. And the, la la the last point we talked about was that God is willing to supply. Yes. Yes. Can, mm. can you just take us through God is willing to supply? And we read the Bible in the book of uh, Philippians, mm. uh, chapter 4, verse 19, that God is really willing to supply. Yes. But most of the time, mm. we ask and we go. True. Yes. True. 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 Now, take, can, you, can you just lead us through that? Um, uh, Felix. Uh, it's good to have you today here. Thank you. And to our wonderful <laughs> viewers, it's good to tune in to get, you know, insights and mysteries deeper and pure in knowing about the power in prayer mm. and praying right and praying to a willing God. Mm. Our viewers need to understand that every time you come before God, God is willing. Mm -hmm. He's willing to bless us. 
Why? Because one, he is mindful mm. of us. Oh, yes. He's mindful to bless us. He's mindful to heal us. He's mindful to do extraordinary things in our life. Mm -hmm. But one thing we need to understand is we need to have that relationship between us and God. Mm. When you remember King Jehoshaphat, mm. when he went before God in Second Chronicles chapter 12, when you read from 1 continuing up to to up to uh, five to, to one to 12, you will realize that Jehoshaphat, when he went before God, he never started by telling God, you know what, this is what I need. I need a house, I need this. Uh, <laughs> that's he never exactly, mentioned. He, he that's never, exactly what we do. <laughs> exactly, he never mentioned. But Jehoshaphat first began by declaring who God is, mm -hmm. saying you are the God, the creator of heaven and earth. Oh, yeah. I, identifying the position of who? The position of God. Mm -hmm. You see, so he identified the position of God. By the time he went to tell God the things that were really pursuing him and that brought him to God to pray, mm -hmm. he had already placed God where he's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So every time you come before prayers, place God where he's supposed to be. <laughs> Don't place yourself first. <laughs> yeah? Place God first where he's supposed to uh -huh. be because he's the God, the creator of heaven and earth. Mm. When you read Psalms 24, the Bible says the earth and all that is in it belongs to God. Yeah. You can begin your prayer by you not telling God the earth and all that is in it and I myself, I belong Me to you. Included. Yes, mm. yeah, I belong to you, oh God. You're giving God his position. Mm -hmm. You see, then it goes on to say that, you know, God, are you not the God almighty who, who delivered our ancestors mm -hmm. from this land and gave it to your friend Abraham? Mm -hmm performance he's trying to he's telling god you have done it before oh, yeah. you change not you are the same yesterday today and forever mm -hmm. you you did it before mm -hmm. you will do it even now, even now. Uh -huh. and he tells god won't you execute your judgment upon this vast army that is pursuing us this is your word <laughs> exactly <laughs> won't you uh -huh. and when god hears want you mm -hmm. and he says i will yes you remember the story of the leper? We have been discussing about the leper mm -hmm. in Matthew chapter 18 and mm -hmm. verses 1 to 18, mm -hmm. whereby this leper went before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the first thing this leper said, Oh God, have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. Will you heal me? Mm -hmm. Are you willing? Are you willing mm -hmm. to heal me? Mm -hmm. And what is Jesus saying? I, I am, am willing. I am. So every time you go before God, God is willing. Felix, mm -hmm. God is willing to bless you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's mindful of you. Mm -hmm. God is willing to lift you higher. Why? Because he's mindful of you. Mm -hmm. God is willing to come through for you for that situation. Why? Because he's mindful of you. Mm -hmm. So if God is willing to heal, just as he healed the leper, then he's also willing to supply all our needs according to his riches in, in glory. glory. Okay. When you read the book of <laughs> Philippians, mm -hmm. when you read the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verses 19, mm -hmm. we can go there. Yeah? The Bible is very clear mm -hmm. in, Ephes in, in Philippians chapter 4 verses 19. And my God will liberally supply, mm -hmm. meaning he will feel until full. You hear that? Yeah. Meaning he will do what? He will fill you until full. full. Meaning there shall be an overflow. An overflow. <laughs> there shall be an overflow. Yes. You are every need mm. according to his riches in glory. He has not said according to my poverty in glory. Mm -mm. He has said according to his riches in, in glory. glory. If God is willing to heal, then he's willing to supply mm. all our needs. Our wonderful viewer and Felix here, if there is any need that you are looking unto God, he is willing and he is mindful and he will do it according to his riches in glory. Mm. Not according According to his poverty in glory, ah. but according to his riches in, in glory. glory, he will supply for your life. Mm -hmm. He will supply for your education. Mm -hmm. He will supply for your children. He will supply for your marriage. He will supply for your relationship. He will supply for your business. Why? Because he is willing. I will, not I shall, mm -mm. but I will I supply, will supply. all your needs mm -hmm. according to your rich, according to my riches. Where in glory through who? Christ Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Now, uh, what you are saying is God has, is mindful of us. So this simply means that God has put us first. So what he is yes. asking is, is it, is, it, is it so much to ask that you put me first? 
Imagine. <laughs> that, that's a that's a different revelation. <laughs> that is it. I'm, imagine. I'm getting it differently because yeah. he has everything for mm -hmm, us. Mm -hmm. He has everything for us. But every time you come before God, he mm. wants your heart first. Okay. Eh? He wants your heart first. He wants that relationship first. Once you have created that relationship, God is all, is all knowing. Mm. He knows Felix. You need that business. Mm -hmm. He knows Felix. You need that money. Oh, yes. But one thing, Felix, he is asking give me your heart mm. let's have this relationship mm -hmm. come to get to know get to know me let me reveal myself to you mm -hmm. and let me reveal yourself to you mm -hmm. because remember you do not know yourself yet is God who knows yourself yeah. and he has to reveal him to <laughs> yourself to him <laughs> to you he, he he owns it all all oh god so I'm 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 still stuck to this point where yes. we have we have now a good God is willing to supply. His will. We have prayed for it. Yes. And we have really visualized it and focused on it. Exactly. But now how do we receive? How do we receive what God has is answering what or what he's giving to us? When you read the book of uh, of uh, of Psalms 80 81 and verses 1 mm -hmm. the bible says the bible says that i am the lord your god mm -hmm. who brought you out from the from the land of egypt mm -hmm. open your mouth wide and i will fill it mm -hmm. whenever you come before the presence of god child of god be a good receiver mm -hmm. let your heart be open before the lord you remember the story of the prodigal son yes you remember that story mm -hmm. of the prodigal mm -hmm. son? The prodigal son, the other son, was good at doing what? He was good at asking. Mm -hmm. He asked and then he was also good at, that, at doing what? And re at receiving. receiving. And he received and left. Uh -huh. The elder son did not even ask anything. <laughs> and did not even receive anything. <laughs> you see, sometimes we are like that when uh -huh. we come before the presence yes. of God. You even don't know how to ask. Mm -hmm. You even don't know how to receive. Mm -hmm. And God is saying, open your mouth wide and I shall fill you. Mm -hmm. Whenever you come before the presence of God, be expectant. He's telling you, open <laughs> your mouth wide be intentional. and I will fill you. Mm -hmm. And every time you go before the the Lord Felix do not put God in an image of saying that this is how God looks you're limiting him of what he wants to do mm -hmm. because remember the Bible says God is omnipresent mm -hmm. God is omniscient mm -hmm. God is omnipotent yes. every time you place an image let's give an example of this flower mm -hmm. you have put it as an image saying this is who your God is you have limited God to the level of, of this flower. flower and God will work according to this level of the flower that that you have placed him because you cannot place God in a box and think he will fit there okay. you cannot place God in salt and think he is his soul mm -hmm. you cannot place him in anointing oil and think that is all of it <laughs> you cannot place him in holy water and think that is it uh -huh. God is far beyond salt God is far beyond anointing oil God is far beyond holy water mm -hmm. God is far beyond a broom God is far beyond anything that you place him as an image mm -hmm. because every time you go before the Lord and you and you present your small item before God there is how small it will be answered mm -hmm. but go before God because it says open your mouth wide yes he has given us you know an opportunity to ask anything big he's saying open your mouth wide and I wide. shall do what I shall feel, feel it. it so child of God every time you go before the Lord be a good receiver mm -hmm. then also ask and it shall be given unto each one of us mm -hmm. because remember asking is spiritual mm -hmm. and also receiving, receiving is, is spiritual. spiritual okay <laughs> yes asking and receiving and receiving both, is both, both spiritual. spiritual okay yes Th that's what, that's so amazing now when when <laughs> while you are asking god yes. you're saying you, you need to be you need to open your mouth wide yes, right. and uh, most of the time we are limiting god to whatever we need like god i need only 10000 so you are saying whatever whatever kile uh, kiwango uh, ambacho you put you 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 put your god that is how he's going that to That is how exactly, exactly you how receive you, because if you limit god in something small he will give you that small thing because you have asked for it. Uh -huh. But if you ask for something bigger, mm -hmm. he will give you a bigger thing. Mm -hmm. So we encourage our wonderful viewers mm -hmm. and ask that every time we go before God, mm -hmm. ask for bigger 
things. Desire for bigger things. And God will answer those bigger things. Because he says he's the God Almighty is the God of impossibilities. Take the impossibility before God. Yeah. Do not take something you can manage. Uh -huh. Take something that you cannot manage. The impossible. Sit down. Take the impossible before the Lord. Do not take something you can. Let's give an example. I was telling people in, in church that every time you go before God, ask for something. What did he say? That everything is possible with me. Mm -hmm. The impossibilities are mine. Mm -hmm. So there are things God has left for us. He knows you can manage. Mm -hmm. Let's give an example example you're reporting to job mm -hmm. and you come late because you overslept mm -hmm. and perhaps you have an issue with your supervisor are you going to tell god that god it is my supervisor who has a problem it is you who has a problem <laughs> that one you can manage the satan alarm wake up early go to work because that one you can manage oh my god take the impossible before god uh -huh. this is the impossible before god look at your list and say god this one i can this one i can, this one I can manage mm -hmm. this one it's me who's the problem i have to work on this uh -huh. one but this one, oh God, I lift up my eyes to you, knowing that you will come through for me. <laughs> because this one is impossible for me. Mm. And even unto men, mm. it is impossible. Hey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there are things we can do. Yes. And there are things we... we, the, the, we, we so, this is how we go about it. Exactly. We, we, we tell God things that we are capable of doing. Exactly. And, in, and that's, that's something you find me crying and, you know... Tears and God and is like, wrong with this child of mine? So, 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 Exactly. Let's look at the story of Gideon. Mm -hmm. You remember when God was, was sent Gideon with mighty men to go and fight? Yeah. What did he say? Reduce them to? <laughs> Reduce them to three <laughs> Exactly. Reduce them because when I tell you to go with them, you might say, oh, it was our army that fought. Uh -huh. Oh, it's because we were many. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because we were able. Now reduce them so that you know that it is I who gave you the ability because I am the God of the impossibilities. Uh -huh. From a very small army exactly. to victory. Exactly. This is very impossible. <laughs> very impossible, exactly. That is very but, but, impossible. But when you have, uh, in, in war, when you have an advantage of numbers, yes. you, you are sure of winning. You're sure for mm -hmm. sure of but winning. But God is proving it otherwise. And he said that you, mm, less you will say that word. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that is what God does. Uh, Take the impossibilities. Mm -hmm. That w with the, the, the impossibilities the doctors have written you off. The impossibilities people have given you uh, uh, have given you completely up. The impossibility you know that this one no man can do it. No one can come through for me. That is when you take it to the Lord and God shows himself mighty and powerful. Mm -hmm. yes. So in, in prayer while praying to God and telling God uh, and this and this and this. So what do you do after asking? You know you've asked God and, and some of us you know we ask and live like the other part goes, I know, pew, uh, <laughs> you live pay, without pew, I don't, when you know, to before we receive, you know, mm. and most of the time we didn't even understand that prayer is a conversation with it God. It is a conversation. Uh, there's a time you, you speak and then he speaks. Yes. But most of the time we speak and, and now let me make a sirika and then in the room. Mm. You speak, I speak my mind. Exactly. Uh, God, I've brought my heart and then, pew, now, yes, <laughs> what yes. do we do? <laughs> Every time you come out of prayer, I know as we go on, we look at all those kind of uh, those kind of sessions how we can go before the Lord and how we can you know reach there are moments even in prayer Felix mm -hmm. there are moments in prayer even you, you do not need to speak mm. you just need to keep quiet and listen from God even it's it's not even you who needs to you will find yourself quiet mm -hmm. you will find yourself not saying anything but you will feel tears of love mm -hmm. expressing your love unto the most high God because there's nothing you can do you're helpless you're powerless let his will be done <laughs> into your life yes. but every time we come before the Lord and God you've prayed and asked for everything leave that place thanking the Lord in advance that he has already done it no doubt at all no do not doubt mm -hmm. do not doubt because remember remember the Bible says that faith is the substance of things hoped for mm -hmm. and the evidence of things not, not seen. seen. Meaning doubt and faith do not work, do not 
cannot dwell in one house. Uh -uh. Faith and doubt cannot dwell in, in one house. It's like darkness and light. And light cannot. Uh -huh. So when faith comes in, it is automatically that doubt has to do what? Has to leave. Mm. And you know, when you have faith, even as small as a mustard, um, as a mustard seed, you can clear out the doubt out of what you have praying for. Mm. So never place doubt ahead. Place faith ahead of your prayer mm -hmm. and everything will work why because the bible says in first john chapter 5 and verses 14 that this is the confidence we have mm -hmm. that when we approach the father yes. eh, according to his will mm -hmm. he will answer us you approach the father asking of anything mm -hmm. anything i mean what anything any, any, uh, health is anything <laughs> business is anything okay. marriage is <laughs> anything relationship <laughs> is anything Wait. wisdom is the, anything ma you said marriage and relationship is anything is anything you know, when he says anything he and means anything anything okay. and he says according to my will mm. i will answer you he has not limited you that according according to my to my will you can ask some things mm -hmm. he has said Anything. anything you can ask anything from God even wisdom Felix mm -hmm. you can ask from God wisdom mm -hmm. yeah, because <laughs> the Bible says that the Bible says that when you lack wisdom ask mm -hmm. are you hearing that mm -hmm. he says ask wisdom and he will give you without finding what fault <laughs> Without finding even reproach in it, <laughs> God will give us what wisdom. This, He'll give you anything. Yes, this is getting interesting. Yes. You see, I was I was to come to that point of wisdom. Yes. Because now we've asked, and mm. uh, you 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 find that we are having issues because sometimes we don't know the right way to do it. Exactly. Uh, you know, even a, a, a relationship with with my father or my mother. Sometimes it's at fault because I don't know how. How do you don't yeah, even how, how do to I, relate? Yeah, how do I? You go don't know how to one? relate it. Yeah. So we have so answered you, our mm -hmm. our viewers about when you whenever you pray, mm -hmm. remove doubt out of it. Yeah. Because remember, faith and doubt cannot dwell in one house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they cannot dwell in one house. One has to go away, and faith wins. Yeah, that, it? Yeah. Faith wins. So whenever you come into the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Have faith that God has done what? Has he has answered yeah. because he says this is the confidence mm. that you have when you come before the presence of God mm. and ask of anything. Mm. He has answered you and me. Okay. You see. Yes. So about the wisdom, mm. about relating with your parents, relating with your friends, relating with your neighbors, mm. relating even at place of work. Mm. The Bible says, do you lack wisdom? Mm. And if you lack wisdom, Ask of, we, of the way of wisdom and it shall be given unto you. Mm -hmm. We can read J J the book of James chapter 1 and verses 5. Yes. You can read it, please. Um, mm. let, me, let me get the scripture. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is so interesting. Yes. And the book of James. Mm. James chapter 1 verses 5. Okay. Mm. Where, 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 where? Wisdom. Any, wisdom is anything. Wisdom is anything. <laughs> eh, Felix? <laughs> wisdom is anything. anything. Not, Health not, is anything. Not just what we normally know. Exactly. It's anything. Is anything. Now, the Bible says, yes. uh, in the book of James, it, chapter, James one, chapter 1, verse five. 1, verse 5, the Bible says yes. that if any of you lacks wisdom, mm -hmm. you should ask God. Yes. Who gives generously uh -huh. to all without yes. finding fault. Uh -huh. And it will be given, given to, you. to you. Are you hearing yes. that? You're asking that, that, that question that how do I relate even with my family? How do I relate with my brothers? How do I relate even in this relationship? You see, the Bible says that ask wisdom. Mm. And if you ask wisdom, God shall give you generously. Do you know, do you know what generously means? Mm -hmm. There is an overflow. Yeah. Generously all. Take it. So just take it. Just take it. We have an example of a king who asked for wisdom. <coughs> Solomon. Solomon asked for wisdom. Mm. And the Bible says Solomon was given wisdom until nations used to bow before who? Mm -hmm. before, before Solomon. Solomon yeah. So you can ask wisdom mm. to relate to relate with your family. Okay. You can ask for wisdom. You tell God, it seems it's difficult for me to relate with these brothers of mm. mine. It's difficult for me to relate to this sister of mine. It is difficult for me to relate to this husband of mine. Yeah. The Bible says, ask for 
wisdom mm. and god will grant you wisdom generously without finding reproach in it uh -huh. without finding fault mm. in it and he says he will give it unto you mm. so god is willing to give us wisdom mm. uh, is there a sister perhaps a brother you're having a problem you cannot approach even a sister mm -hmm. you lo just look at a sister and you're like how will i approach this sister <laughs> the bible says ask what uh, yeah. ask for wisdom you start setting. exactly <laughs> ask for wisdom and god will give you wisdom on how to approach who that uh, sister even you sister uh, there are brothers who are approaching you and perhaps your time for marriage has reached and you're there saying that oh you you're not my class you're not my level okay. and the years are passing by <laughs> the bible says ask for Wisdom. wisdom even how to respond to those brothers ask for wisdom even you brother to approach a sister ask for wisdom, wisdom. Okay. you are a woman out there and perhaps you have a problem running your marriage mm -hmm. the bible says ask for wisdom mm -hmm. there is academic wisdom mm -hmm. when you feel that the studies are very difficult you cannot even get an a or a b the bible says ask wisdom mm -hmm. there is academic wisdom god will give unto you mm -hmm. there is business wisdom perhaps you have a business idea yeah. but you're wondering how will i apply this how do this I idea uh -huh. into mm -hmm. into you know making it to come to pass and making me you know prosperous mm -hmm. the bible says ask for wisdom business wisdom and god will give wisdom unto you mm -hmm. because he's willing to give unto us generously if you have a wife who is quarrelsome perhaps a husband <laughs> is very quarrelsome <laughs> the bible says ask for what for wisdom. wisdom do not go higher not level uh, yeah. do it, not go higher level it, yeah. it, <laughs> no ask for wisdom and god will give you wisdom mm. on how to manage that quarrelsome man mm. and that quarrelsome woman because it says i will give you generously without finding fault in it hey, ladies and gentlemen uh, i'm not the one saying this one but you've had it's all about wisdom so you see we've been we've been uh, taking things the other way because of a very small thing we didn't ask for wisdom from god and sometimes we rely on our own understanding exactly we want we want to be the ones who are in charge of everything mm. the bible says ask if any one of you ask from me and i will give it without yes. finding fault now do not go anywhere we're about to go for a break and uh, uh we are going to continue the same you see it's very interesting how uh, how we you, it's a thin line how you yes. just go astray mm. and you live the way thinking you can do it exactly god is so wonderful my name is felix osonga do not go away be right back KATV, Understanding the Mind of God. With a lot of controversy going on in the Christian community, a lot of wrong doctrine and indoctrination, people coming up with questions to discredit the authenticity and the message of Christ. If today you were to ask a pastor a question, what will that question be? Is it recorded somewhere that it is on the exact 25th of December that we celebrate the birth of Jesus? Why do we die? Now the Bible says that uh, when you receive Jesus Christ, you receive life, eternal life. Then why should we die before we live eternally? Uh, my curiosity will be what happens when someone dies? When is Jesus coming? 2,000 years ago, it is said, and every sign that has been uh, talked about has already come to pass. But Jesus has not yet come. The Bible records we should forgive 70 times, 7 times. Does it mean we should make mistakes as often as we can? If Jesus loves us so much, as he says, why does he allow, why does God allow uh, calamities to befall us? Uh, 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 storms to come to us? People are fighting, people are dying. There is pain, sadness, sorrow all over. Why doesn't he just take it away? Because he can do it. Now, right here at KA Television, we are introducing an avenue, a platform, where we are merging pastors from the Northern and Western Hemisphere together with those from Eastern Hemisphere, coming together to answer very critical questions that you may have as a believer, as a non-believer, to get to understand about God, the Trinity, Christ, and everything pertaining salvation. It is every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. on the East African time and 9.30 a.m. on New Mexican time, where the conversation 
is happening. See you there. KATV, Understanding the Mind of God. Now, welcome back, our wonderful viewers. And uh, this is amazing. Let me tell you, it's very, very amazing how how beautiful prayer is. How mm. how wonderful God is. Like you know, it's very simple. It's it's us who makes things complicated. Yes. This is what I'm understanding today. Mm. Now, those of us who are watching on online, uh, it is KA Television on Facebook. We are live there, YouTube, KA Television. And if you're using your mobile, uh, if you have a mobile app, that is. Uh, uh, mobile app that is my home TV you are watching us God bless you so much for staying tuned in and if you want to talk to us the number is on the screen 0714596888 0714596888 send us your questions send us your uh, uh, send uh, your, 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 your thoughts let us know what you think let us know how uh, you're being blessed and we will be right back at you and God bless you so much now uh, let us continue. Yes. <laughs> now, we, we, we were talking about asking for wisdom. Yes. And I've just realized that wisdom is needed everywhere. Everywhere. And that's needed. why the Bible says, my people perish because of lack, lack of, of knowledge. Okay. Mm. I see. Mm. I see. Because you, you're saying we ask for wisdom. We Baka, ask for wisdom. Baka, yes. if you want to approach Sister, sister Nani. Sister, yes. Yes. I've sister seen, Mary. Yes. Or Sister Joyce. Uh -huh. Whichever sister and, it is. And I've seen Joyce and I'm like, hey. And you're like, how can I approach how this sister? How do I go about it? And you're, you're, you're just there dying inside. Nakula kwa macho daily. Exactly. Pains me when I see her with exactly. any... So what, a brother case. Exactly. So what, what you need, the Bible says, ask for wisdom. Okay. You can ask for wisdom. Mm -hmm. When you feel you're directed to that sister, mm -hmm. and for sure, the Bible says, you ask of anything confidently, mm -hmm. and it is according to my will, I will give it unto you. Mm -hmm. So even having a relationship, a godly relationship, it is the will of God. Mm -hmm. So ask for wisdom. Ask God. God, I ask for wisdom. How do I approach Sister Mary? Mm -hmm. I need wisdom. How do I approach Sister Joyce? I need wisdom. How do I approach sister Pamela mm -hmm. then God will grant you <laughs> Wisdom. wisdom and also our <laughs> sisters out there mm. when a brother approaches you don't just answer anyhow Lee. the bible says <laughs> ask for wisdom you can ask for wisdom on how even to respond mm. without causing any heartbreaks and without causing any pain mm. and god will give you wisdom do not send every brother away saying that that is not my <laughs> class that is not my level I who are you may, to I even confront <laughs> me who are you even to come and approach me <laughs> sister you need mm. wisdom what do you have what do you have Age. even to approach me Age. you need wisdom <laughs> even how to respond mm. there are some sisters you take them outside you buy you you, you buy for them chips and chicken uh -huh. and time for eating comes she but she eats all the food without within two minutes <laughs> and she's again asking can i help you finish yours oh, oh. sister wisdom oh my ask god for wisdom even how to to present yourself when you go outside ask for wisdom oh, yes. when you're asking for a soda don't ask for a bigger one uh -uh. ask for like a smaller one yes, even you cannot finish it Ish. do not finish then ask for the other that you shall take also that one <laughs> ask for wisdom you can ask for wisdom because God is willing to give us wisdom. Oh my God. Is it hey. wisdom for business? Mm -hmm. Ask for wisdom. Yes. God will give you. Is it wisdom to run your marriage? Ask for wisdom. Mm. God will give you. Is it wisdom how to take care of your children? Ask for wisdom. Mm. God will give it unto you. Mm -hmm. Brother, ask for wisdom. Even how to approach that sister. Mm. Sister, ask for wisdom. How to respond to those brothers yeah. that are coming after uh -huh. you. God will give you wisdom mm. because he's giving unto us generously without finding uh, fault yeah. and reproach in it mm -hmm. where, yes where <laughs> yes I'm, I'm 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 getting to hear wonders here Amen. now <laughs> we are asking for wisdom yes but uh, uh the, you while, while you're talking it got me thinking yes that it's nullifying the this this idea that we were given when we were young mm. that god answers by saying yes mm. no or wait mm. But how you are saying is that when you ask for God, God will give you wisdom and exactly. you will know exactly. what to do next. You will know 
what is next mm -hmm. and you will know what to do uh -huh. and remember also there are times when you do not know how to pro to approach god mm -hmm. and that's why in the book of james says some of you you have asked mm -hmm. you you have prayed for mm -hmm. and you do not have mm -hmm. but because you have prayed amiss uh -huh. And that is what we are trying to tack on mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. So that when we go before God, we pray confidently, without doubt, mm -hmm. knowing that God has answered yes. and waiting for the results. Mm -hmm. God is willing to give it to us mm -hmm. because he says, I am willing and I am mindful mm -hmm. and I will bless you okay. and I will expand you and I will heal you and I will make you yes. whole again. He is willing. Eish. This is the God that we serve. Exactly. And if, if God is doing all of these things, and we have these people who tuna umbanga, but mm. <laughs> and you're, you're, you're confidently saying that God answers. And the Bible says that He's willing to do everything. He is willing, yes. Mm -hmm. God is willing. So the problem is how we approach God. How do you approach? Remember I told you that when you come before the Lord, first begin with relationship. Mm -hmm. Don't begin listing all these things. There's some things impossible <laughs> and possible. Take them before God. <laughs> you see? Uh, relationship. God is after relationship. Uh, Felix, yes. relationship. Mm -hmm. Relationship opens the doors of the other. Mm -hmm. Remember the Bible says, seek you first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and his righteousness mm -hmm. and the rest shall follow you. Yeah. Meaning that when you are into a relationship with God mm -hmm. and you're right there, these other things will begin chasing after you. Okay. Yes. Yes. So they, they will, <laughs> hey, and yeah, we need to change how we pray. Exactly. And we need we really need to understand who God is because even even when I'm approaching my father for something Exactly. Uh, there is a way I go. Mm. <laughs> exactly, yes. Now that <laughs> is wisdom. Exactly. Mm. out next week. Alafu, babangu. Ata angipata time angikuja na mingu. You're like, okay. So even your trainer knows me. Exactly. How much? <laughs> <laughs> wisdom. So it, it really requires wisdom. Exactly. Thank you so much. Yes, now, to, to, yes. to, to, to some of us, I just want, us, I want you to tell something to us who waste time. Mm. Uh, you talked about this issue of marriage and relationship. It's very, very, very serious. Mm. And you find us, tunawaacha inje, tuna, you see, you reject everybody. Mm -hmm. and, and brothers like us, tuna lenga lenga awatu. Talk to us about that one. Yeah, <laughs> that is very important, mm. uh, Felix. For the, for the brothers out there, mm. perhaps you have seen a sister. Mm -hmm. And for sure you feel you are being directed, this is the sister. Yeah. There is one thing you can, you know, relationship is also spiritual. Mm -hmm. I need to say this. Mm -hmm. And marriage is also spiritual. Mm -hmm. And you know you cannot achieve what you want or whatever you desire until you have dealt with it in the spirit. Yeah until you have dealt with it in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So the same way even approaching this sister, you cannot just approach this sister, uh, Brother Felix, when you have not prayed, mm -hmm. you have not even sought for direction before God, mm -hmm. you first go into prayer. Once you go into prayer, you already begin to picture that this sister I have, oh. and you begin to, to visualize that this sister, Lord, you have given her unto me. And now, Lord, one thing I am asking, how do I approach this sister? Mm -hmm. Because remember, our battles, we do not win them physically. We win our battles spiritually. Mm -hmm. We do not receive whatever we ask from God physically. Mm. We receive first them in the spirit. Mm. Then they begin to manifest where? In, in the, the physical. physical. Mm. So the same way when you're going to approach a sister, mm. brother Felix, you have to first go to the secret room. Talk to your father about this sister. Mm -hmm. And this, that your father shall grant unto you wisdom. And you will approach this sister. And this sister will say, let's pray about it. That is still what? Wisdom. wisdom and once you've prayed and then you'll get a positive answer because you first dealt with it where in the, in the, spirit. In the spirit. So the same way, sisters, when a brother approaches you, uh -huh. do not begin sending every brother out and saying that you're not my class, you're not my level. Mm -hmm. Who are you even to confront me? What do you even <laughs> have? Is what, what is even, <laughs> who are you? And remember, time is not on your mm -mm. side. Every brother you're saying, no, no, 
No, sister, you need wisdom. Mm -hmm. How to respond to that brother even if you do, you do not love him, mm -hmm. even if you do not want him. Mm -hmm. Ask for wisdom because it, Amid is saying no, no. The, the Mr. Right is also doing what? He's also <laughs> passing. You need what? <laughs> wisdom. And God will grant you hey. wisdom. Even running a relationship, hey. you need wisdom. 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 Running marriage, you need wisdom. Mm -hmm. Running running your business, you need wisdom. wisdom. Yeah. And God is willing to give unto us generously without finding fault or reproach in it okay so where well, we need wisdom in everything everything but, but why do we ask what to nauliza mungu vitu zingine bana kumbe unapata tu mungu amenipea idea but nenda kumambea god i need money exactly i need money Instead sometimes even God, God can give you, me. Felix, sometimes even God can give you, can give you an idea in a dream. Mm -hmm. You can be perhaps seeing yourself, yourself selling cars, mm -hmm. perhaps you're washing cars. And that is an idea mm -hmm. that God has given you because he knows out of that idea with the wisdom, yours will be unique even if others have the same business. Okay. Because it's from God. It's from God. It's a manifestation it has of the been spirit. But in the spirit. The physical. Exactly. It is all, all it's. Automatically exquisite. Exactly. Hey. Yes. Now, <laughs> thank you for opening our eyes. God, give me wisdom, especially my relationship. Relationship, yes. Kabisa. Now, 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 brother, don't, don't, <laughs> sister, don't accept three brothers and put them into confusion huh? because they'll be they are fighting. That that one will be quarreling. They'll be quarreling. They'll be fighting. Even brother, do not approach three sisters. Four sisters. That is not wisdom. Yes, we refuse in Jesus. Exactly. Name. Yes. <laughs> Ask wisdom <laughs> and God will direct you because be he's open willing to minded give unto and us straight, yes. and God will give us. Even in ministry, we need wisdom. Mm -hmm. Even just bring up our children, we mm -hmm. need wisdom. Oh. And the Bible says he's willing mm -hmm. to give unto us generously mm -hmm. without finding fault in wow. it. Now, I have this question. Yes. Now we have seen the importance of having wisdom. Yes. What happens <laughs> or what are the dangers yes. of a Christian or a believer mm. lacking wisdom? Lacking wisdom. Yes, when you just we una ukotu. What is the opposite of wisdom? <laughs> <laughs> what is the what is the opposite of wisdom? Of wisdom? <laughs> Meaning you're going to mess up yourself. Mm -hmm. You're going to mess up yourself. Mm -hmm. You will not do the things that you will not do rightly whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Why? Because wisdom is lacking in it. Mm -hmm. We need wisdom so that we do everything perfectly and well and according to the will of the Father. Yes. yes. Okay. You will mess. And we've been messing around. We've been, exactly. We've been, so, na kumbata ikuangi ni, ni tunaitanga lana. I uh, know so, sometimes it's just things, wisdom. Yeah, things don't happen. And like, ah. It's okay. Ni lana like that. Exactly. Tunenda kwa kelewa mekono. Kumbe it's just wisdom that it is wisdom. we are lacking. Just look at Solomon. Mm -hmm. Solomon had everything he would have asked from God. Mm -hmm. Just put yourself in the shoe of Solomon. And God is asking, Solomon, now that you have built for me a temple, Solomon, what do you want me to do for you? <laughs> Felix, a bull list th some of those things. He'll begin saying, God, I need a car. God, I need the uh, land. God, I need... You see. <laughs> The list would have been an endless list. <laughs> exactly. But Solomon knew, <laughs> if I have wisdom, mm. I have everything. Okay. So every time you go before the Lord and ask for wisdom, mm. and God, God gives you wisdom, depending on a particular kind of uh, mm. a, a, an errand that you want to do, mm. it will definitely be good. Mm. Because you will have received everything that comes along mm. with wisdom. Okay. Yes. So we are not supposed. Some of us we depend uh, to find wisdom and knowledge from books, from mm. people. Uh, what do you say about mm. that? Because una 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 pata una pata. Mtoto wa megonjeka. This mm. this is a true story. A, a friend yes. of mine even posted it. Mm. And I said, Mom, mtoto wa megonjeka. Mm. And the first thing that came into our mind mm. was to Google for the procedure. Mm. The first thing. Nani usiku. The procedure and how uh, first aid. Uh, how to do first aid. Mm. And then when uh, she called her friend to tell mm. the same, mm. alikuwa like, what are you doing? The first thing, pray for that. Mm. For that kid. Mm -hmm. And where she was, it's a rural area, hardly yeah. access any hospital. Mm. So she had to stand and pray. Mm. And when she prayed, everything just calmed. The kid was okay until morning when 
the company. She didn't yeah. do any any first aid. No, she didn't do any first aid. But the first priority she mm. has, she was she had gone for, is to seek for Google for wisdom. Mm. Yeah, to <laughs> see, <laughs> seek for. for we, we we normally we normally seek for other things. Yes. Is it right? Let me tell you, when you are a child of God and um, somebody who is born again, the Bible is very clear. Mm -hmm. It says that when you shall lay hands on the sick, mm -hmm. they shall be what? They shall be healed mm -hmm. and they shall be made whole. Mm -hmm. Because remember, our God is the God of impossibilities. Mm -hmm. So the fact that that child was sick at that weird hours, mm -hmm. that was right even to do what? <laughs> to pray for the child. Yeah. It was right to pray for the child. And God manifested and, and did what? Mm -hmm. And healed the child. Mm -hmm. Because that time, that guy was in a state of impossibilities. Mm -hmm. He could not do anything. He went to Google. Google would not do anything for him. Mm -hmm. But he chose to lift his eyes before who? Before mm -hmm. God. And God had to respond. You yeah. remember the story of Joshua yeah. He lifted his eye before God mm -hmm. and said, God, won't you execute judgment against our enemies? Mm -hmm. And God did it because he reached a moment when he's powerless. Mm -hmm. And remember, every time we go to prayers before the Lord, make sure that you render yourself powerless before the Lord because you are the you are before the most powerful God. Mm -hmm. And God begins to manifest his power mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. So the fact that that was what he was directed to do, mm -hmm. that was the will of God and it worked. Mm -hmm. You see, there are those who perhaps when that idea idea comes they will do what he did to go to the google and pass perhaps do first aid and it will still work mm -hmm. because remember it's all according to the direction mm -hmm. and guidance mm -hmm. of god himself mm -hmm. towards us okay yes so we can we can we we also receive knowledge uh, from god but through people yes god can use even somebody mm -hmm. you see but still first thing is to seek him ask for ask for wisdom, for wisdom. <laughs> yeah, and he'll give it to you <laughs> Ask for wisdom. Ask and God for is wisdom. Going yes, to and He'll give to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Uh, now there is, you know, you've mm. said God is mindful. Yes. Th that's what the Bible says. Yes, and He's mindful. God, God does. He's ready to supply. He's ready. God is ready to give. God is ready to, you know, to do everything for us. He's mindful. He's mindful. He does you know. the impossible. Yes. Now, what else can God do when we enter into prayer? There are so many things that happen when we enter into prayer. Mm -hmm. Remember, when we enter into prayer, God transforms us to be something else. Okay. When you read Psalms 104 in verses 4, just open mm -hmm. that and read Psalms 104 mm -hmm. in verses 4. Mm -hmm. This transformation, brother Felix, that takes place when we are in a place of prayer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, the Bible says in the book of Psalms 104, yes. verse 4, the Bible says, yes. He makes winds mm -hmm. his messengers. Exactly. Flames of fire his servants yes mm -hmm. and you know that some other versions mm -hmm. the other versions that um, the other versions that say he makes his servants you are a servant mm -hmm. you know that yeah you are a servant mm -hmm. I am a servant you are a minister mm -hmm. you are a minister I am a minister mm -hmm. you are a priest I am a priest because remember before God there is no priest that this priest woman or priest man <laughs> we are all what yeah, priests we are all priests. before God yes. but People ought to know that every time you go before the presence of God, mm -hmm. God transforms us to anything that he wants us to be. Uh -huh. Why? Because transformation takes place in a place of prayer. Yeah. Brother Felix, you can never transform to anything unless you're in prayer. Okay. Na <laughs> yeah. You cannot transform <laughs> to get ability, uh -huh. to get strength, uh -huh. to get energy, to get, you know, to be lifted, mm -hmm. to be powerful mm -hmm. unless you are in a place of where of place prayer. of prayer mm -hmm. and 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 people need to know that transformation takes place in only a place of where okay. prayer mm -hmm. god can transform you and that's why the bible says that he, he makes his what his servants eh? he mm -hmm. makes his messengers mm -hmm. into winds his angels mm -hmm. into winds but his servants into flames, flames of, of fire, fire. Uh -huh. god can make you a fire in place of prayer mm -hmm. He transforms us to anything. You can go before the presence of God and tell God, now I come before you because you are a consuming fire. Yeah. Remember the Bible says that God is a consuming fire. Mm. In Hebrews chapter 12 and verses 29, mm. and here he's saying me and you as servants of God, mm. we are fire. Mm. God can turn you into a fire in a place of prayer. Yeah. You can tell God, God, I have this problem in my life. I have things that pursue me in the night. Mm. Lord, make me a fire. 
fire. Mm -hmm. When that whatever demonic forces will come in the night, they will find you a fire. Uh -huh. They will not be able to do what? To attack you. Burning. If there are powers of demonic mm -hmm. forces, tell God, turn me into a fire mm -hmm. and begin to consume every witchcraft. Begin to consume every 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 curses in my life. Begin to consume every sickness. Mm -hmm. Begin to consume every disease. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he has transformed you into a fire. He says he makes his servants fire. Okay. Flames of what? Okay. Flames, of fire. flames of fire. Transformation takes place in a place of prayer. Mm -hmm. Not any other place that transformation takes place. Mm -hmm. But it takes place in a place of, of what? Of, of prayer. Of and prayer. God can turn you to be a fire. Mm -hmm. You can be a fire to scatter every witchcraft around your community. Mm -hmm. You can be a fire to scatter every curses in your life. Mm -hmm. You can be a fire to consume every powers of darkness. Hey. Why? Because you are a fire mm -hmm. and God has transformed you into what? Into a fire. Mm -hmm. Let's look at Elijah. Mm -hmm. One time God made Elijah to be wind. Mm -hmm. Elijah ran very fast and and, pass, and he went faster than the chariots uh -huh. of who? That had gone, yes. the chariots of the king Ex had gone earlier. Earlier, yes. Uh -huh. So God can transform us to anything mm -hmm. in a place of fire. Mm -hmm. It is up to you to ask God. The same I happened to Philip. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So God can transform us to be anything. Mm -hmm. Is there anything a wonderful viewer that that perhaps you're struggling with, mm -hmm. perhaps you're battling with, mm -hmm. just go <coughs> in the place of prayer and God will transform you to be a fire. Right. You will tra he will transform you to be flames of fire mm -hmm. and you will consume whatever it is. Okay. Be it masturbation. Be, be it, yes. God. Yes. Mm -hmm. It may be masturbation, it may be any kind of weakness or something that you're battling with. Mm -hmm. Tell God, I need to be a fire mm -hmm. against this that is fighting me. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you because you are a fire in that place of prayer, you will find out that you will not have any urge of doing whatever you want to do. Why? Because you are a fire. Oh, yeah. A fire com consumes powers of darkness. Mm -hmm. A fire consumes bad habits. Mm -hmm. A fire consumes sickness. Mm -hmm. A fire consumes diseases. Hey. A fire consumes depth. Mm -hmm. A fire consumes anything mm -hmm. that can stand and in, 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 in that can stand as an obstruction mm -hmm. against you. God can consume it mm -hmm. with the fire inside you. Mm -hmm. If our Father in heaven is a fire, mm -hmm. then we, His children, we are flames of what? Flames fire. Of fire yeah. Yes. Wow. So this is so amazing. The fact that it is more than just praying. It's more uh, than you, praying. You, you pray, yes. Pray, God will answer. God is yes. willing. God is mindful. He's but mindful. again, God can trans transform, transform you. In God will make you, you, God will make you, you know, holy. You, he'll make you set apart so that anything that is not of him in you, in you will be consumed. Will be consumed. He will consume the impossible inside you. That's my takeaway today. Yes. Wow. I, I feel so blessed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this this Amen. is so amazing. Amen. This is so amazing. I never knew. Mm. I never knew. I only know that Jesus prayed and he transfigured. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, okay. We don't actually we don't talk about that much. Mm -hmm. uh, the so, mountain of transfiguration. So we as children of God, mm. believers, yes. we can pray and up, at a place of prayer, God we are going to transform. be transformed. God can transform you in a place of prayer. Mm -hmm. we are, we, and it's only in a place of where? In a place of prayer. Yeah. Oh. And remember, if you're not in prayer, mm -hmm. just take an exam just try to take like two weeks without prayer. Mm -hmm. Felix, if I meet you. Oh my God, you'll be so miserable. It's some, you'll be so it's terrible. Different. You'll be so, you know, who, terrible. Yeah, the question, who feeds you? Exactly. <laughs> so in a place of prayer is uh -huh. where we are strengthened, we are transformed, mm -hmm. we are encouraged, mm -hmm. we are empowered, mm -hmm. and we are what God wants us to be. And that's it's when we know who we are. Exactly. Because he reveals. Yes. Hey, he reveals who you are to yourself. yourself. <laughs> I'm a very good student. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, God bless you so much, those of us who are watching. And if you have any prayer request if you want us to pray with you the woman of god is here and the number is on the screen 0714596888 0714596888 can you contact that number uh, uh, leave your comment leave your message and let us know uh, we are here and woman of god will pray with you mm -hmm. and uh, even as 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 we continue, because I am like his one on an MBA Muda Umeenda. That time time it's, is running away well. and, and actually we are it's just like we are beginning. <laughs> ah it's well now I want us I want you to pray mm. for us. Yeah. Uh, 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 take, just take us before the Lord mm. and uh, let God guide us. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like Wow, this is mine. And mm -hmm. I believe that this is some, for somebody who is watching us. That A, there is a different way. There is a, it's a very different approach to God. That 
what are you what is wrong with you just tell god god mm. this sickness yes turn me into, into that flame exactly. it will run away please woman of god take us to a, a word of prayer Thank you, our wonderful viewers, for watching. Let's humble ourselves and pray. Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you for such a wonderful moment that we have had at this moment of thank time. You. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before your presence right now, Heavenly Father, knowing that you are the creator of heaven and earth. Mm. The earth and all that is in it belongs to you, and we belong to you, Heavenly yes. Father. And Lord, we love you. Mm. We exalt you, O God, and give reverence to you, Heavenly Father father mm -hmm. lord we come before your presence knowing that we are totally powerless mm -hmm. wherever we have reached every situation that we might be going through our wonderful viewers are going through lord we acknowledge that we are powerless mm -hmm. but you are powerful okay. and lord we lift our eyes unto you O god mm -hmm. knowing that our deliverance comes from you O yes, god lord. knowing that our breakthrough comes from you O god yes. knowing that our healing comes from you O god you, and lord right now in the name of jesus christ mm -hmm. begin to transform each one of us into a fire because your word says that that your, your angels mm -hmm. father god almighty are wind heavenly father but we your servants heavenly father and ministers mm -hmm. we are flames of fire oh. and lord begin to transform whosoever transform is watching the watching right now transform us to transform flames of fire heavenly fire. father and let that fire that is in us begin to consume yes. every powers of darkness in let Jesus the fire name. inside of us begin to consume every sickness mm -hmm. let the fire inside us on inside of us begin to consume the impossibility yes. let it consume everything that is not right mm. in our lives oh god mm. why because we have confidence in you oh. that lord whatever we ask you yes, will sure. do it mm. and lord begin to do it right yes, now lord. there is somebody trusting you for capital mm. lord we pray that may you come through for oh, him oh her my oh, father Christ. there is somebody trusting for healing heavenly father oh. you are willing to heal heal her mm. you are willing to deliver deliver yes. you are willing to set free set free yes. Yes, you are willing to open doors that have been closed. May you, you open, open those doors God. right now, oh God, mm. because you are mindful, you are willing, and you will do it, oh God, mm. because it is possible before you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. There are those who are seeking for relationships, mm. Heavenly Father. Give them wisdom even how to approach, my Father, mm. that relationship in Jesus' mighty name, yes. because you are willing, mm. and you said you will bless us, Father. Begin to bless our lives, oh God. Bless our children, oh God. God. Bless our businesses, oh God. Mm. Bless our marriages, oh God. Ah. Bless our ministries, oh God. Bless, bless our us, relationships, oh God. Bless, bless us, our God. offices, oh God. Bless, bless our children, oh God. Yes. Bless our relatives, oh yes, God. Lord. Because you are mindful mm -hmm. and willing to do it, Heavenly Father. Yes. And we come in confidence knowing mm. that, Lord, you have done it. Mm. We say thank you, oh God, and take all the glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed, believing and trusting. Amen, amen. And, amen and, amen and amen and amen. Praise amen. the Lord and may God bless you so much. Amen. Woman of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Uh, yeah. we are, amen. This is the whispers of the spirit. Amen. I tell you, don't miss this program. It has a lot in store. And, and it's always a blessing to be together. It's always a blessing that you are here. Amen. And may God fill you more. And let, and let, let the it. overflow. Amen. Flow, 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 flow over in your Jesus life name. in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Amen. you for coming. Thank you, Thank you for, for being here. here. Yes. Thank you. We are happy to have you, and Thank I know you. that we are blessed to have you. Now, uh, it is KA Television on Facebook. Remember to like, remember to follow. It's KA Television on, on, on our YouTube. Uh, we are still there. The programs are there. We are live. And if you are somewhere and uh, maybe you are late to get to your home and you have your phone, take your phone. Go to App Store or Google Store. Uh, 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 search uh, My Home TV, select, and you'll find My Home TV. After installing, it's a very simple process. Select Kenya, and then you'll see KA TV. I tell you, this is the best show that you can ever imagine. You want to know how to pray? Whispers of the Spirit is here. You want to know more about the Spirit of God? Whispers of the Spirit is here for you. And God bless you so much. My name is Felix Wesonga. See you next time.
KATV.